Today we are celebrating the rising of Sirius. You can use the three stars from Orion's belt as a pointer. That means we're receiving extra energies from Orion right now, specifically those three stars of Orion's belt, Elnatok, Elnalam and Mintaka. And this is the second peak of the Lion's Gate that we've entered into too. We're still technically in that open porthole, especially through tomorrow, August 12th. Tonight, the moon is void. It's said to avoid the void. Today is a really good day to catch up on rest or to meditate or to reflect. So the moon is in void when it's um, waiting to go into its next sign. However, we do have an alignment between Venus and the moon tonight. I like to think of the moon as it kind of reflects the planet planetary energies that it's in alignment with at that time and kind of beams them down to planet Earth. Venus is known as the goddess. That means that today matters of love and finances may be coming up and this is meant to be in a good way. You can expect some positive shifts when it comes to romantic relationships, even finances right now and some really positive energies too with this. Tomorrow is the peak of the Perseids meteor shower. That means our planet is crossing the path of Comet Swift Tuttle until August 24th and we're really receiving some of these we'll say particles and debris a little bit extra so it's a really good time to keep your eye out eyes to the sky and keep your eyes out for burning up meteors or even shooting stars it's a really good time to see the Milky Way actually we can see the Milky Way visible from August to October really good and um, a lot of times we're seeing a little bit less each night but we can see it but what we're able to see right now is actually the core of the Milky Way. That's the actual galactic center. So that band that we're seeing in a lot of maybe photos that you're seeing of um, the Milky Way right now this time of year, we're actually able to see the actual band or galactic center, which is pretty amazing. It always looks really spectacular. It's a really good time to see it now as that moon is a little bit darker. We have a crescent moon tonight. So this week is a really amazing time to be stargazing and even looking at the Milky Way. Lots of positive energies too as we're moving through the last of the Lionsgate porthole. A lot of you guys might be feeling a little bit of a frequency crash though. So sometimes we kind of put those frequencies up really, really high or we're having such a surge of energy and things kind of need to level out. Some of you guys might be feeling that on a collective level. So you're needed to shine a little bit extra right now. You're actually needed more in those kind of lower spaces as well. So this is a really good time to really find your light. Remember sometimes that you guys are a rainbow in someone else's day and to really hold that frequency up a little bit higher the rest of this week. I'm sending you a ton of love and light, positive energies to be tapping into, lots of star energies.